What's up y'all, it's Klein, the engineer muscle. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on some of my health issues like my blood pressure and sciatica. And some of the little things that I'm doing to help me uh, relieve the pain throughout my day. All right, cue the intro. First off, I just wanna say thank you for all the support that y'all gave me on my first video. You guys broke all my milestones, all my expectations, and I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, uh, just to let you guys know, I got some great content on it today. I got some cooking videos. I got some workout videos. I got some outside workout videos once, we, uh, once the weather gets uh, better, as well as uh, you know some um, macro videos, stuff like that. Hope you all like it. Just stay tuned. If you like what you see and you want to support the movement, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And don't forget to click that notification bell so y'all know whenever I you know, drop any new videos. So remember in my first video where I told you guys about some of my health issues since the COVID weight gain, specifically with sciatica and how I'm feeling? Well, just let you guys know, I'm feeling way better now. I still feel a lot of pain uh, while getting ready to go to work, but throughout the day it definitely gets better i don't want you all to feel sorry for me but i had to ask myself a couple of questions like what did i do to deserve all this well if i could look back i do recall some of the things that i could have done that just added to the issue or may have just caused say i i think one key factor is is this thing that i have Kind of embarrassing, but you know, it is what it is. I gotta, you know, expose myself to y'all. You know, I gotta show y'all the business. But um, I got this little disease called extended back syndrome. What is that? It basically, it's just you don't know where your back ends from your butt begins. Like I'm, I'm basically just all back. So when Maz is sitting down, I'd be sitting on my back. Like right now, I'm sitting on my back. So since the first uh, lockdown stay at home order in Ontario, uh, I was working at home a lot, you know, sitting down on my laptop like this, you know. And we all, we all sit down with bad posture, right? But what's worse for me is that, you know, I have this disease, the extended back syndrome. So I'd be sitting on my, my, on my back uh, for at least eight to 10 hours a day. Regularly, my job consists of me just walking at least four hours out the day. So my extended back syndrome was a, wasn't a factor then because I was still active. Plus, I was also going to the gym. But me sitting down for eight hours at a time caused a whole leap of issues in my lower region. Usually when something goes wrong structurally in my body, I go see my guy Josh, who specializes in this type of stuff. I'll leave his info in the description below if you all want to have a body tune-up. Make sure you tell him that I sent you. After his assessment, he concluded that I had weak hamstrings, tight hamstrings, dormant glutes, weak calves, and an unstable sacrum. These things usually happen when you sit down too much. It could be more, but uh, that's the only thing I can remember at this point in time. So before I went to see Josh, um, I was killing those painkillers. Uh, I was taking at least two a day. The painkiller that I was taking was uh, Robaxidiv, because since it was a back issue, I thought the best painkiller would be like the back painkillers. Um, I think I was taking at least two a day. For those who know me, I don't take painkillers like that. For me to take two painkillers a day, that means the pain was, was really bad. But after I got worked on, pause, uh, I felt way better, same day. I still felt pain, but it wasn't the same. He suggested that I get a special belt, specifically for my sacrum. I don't have the belt with me right now because I'm not wearing it no more, but I'll put the belt in the, in the description below. I would show you how to put this belt on, but I don't want to make this video mad long because it's not like any old belt that you just put on around your waist. It's, uh, you gotta put it on this in, a, in a certain way so that your sacrum uh, could be stable. If y'all wanna see me do a tutorial on that, then let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll do one. He also showed me a few isometric exercises that I could do to tackle the weak areas, like the calves, hamstrings, the butt. I may you know, drop a video of that within this video of me doing them, 
or I may just do another video entirely, but uh, yeah, he told me to do those exercises. So since me wearing this belt and doing those isometric exercises, the pain has drastically gone down. I feel a lot better. If I can rate the pain that I'm feeling now versus then, then being a 10 and one being uh, no pain at all, I feel a five now. Oh, uh, before I forget and sign off, uh, my current weight as of today is 281 and my blood pressure is 159 over 98. Uh, my blood pressure is still high, but it's definitely better from where it used to be. I was one of those type of guys that said that you can't work out at home as tough as you can in the gym. Uh, I still believe it in some degree, but you can do something. You can do something at home. And uh, we don't have to wait for us to be outside anymore. We can do you at home. And I will never, ever, ever depend 100% of my health into a facility or to an establishment. I gotta do this for me. All you gotta do is just invest in yourself, invest in your health. And one thing I always tell my friends, and I always tell myself is that if you don't take care of yourself now freely by free choice, you'll be forced to take care of yourself later on. Remember that. And I don't wanna be uh, those old folks that eat in a wheelchair, like, you know, like this. <laughs> I don't wanna be that. You know, Matt's is getting old right now. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go to a train. Thank you for watching my video. Again, if you like the movement, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And don't forget to click my notification bell so y'all can be notified when I drop any new videos. And if y'all would like, follow me on Engine and Muscle on IG. And uh, here's a little thing for y'all. This is a cheat code. This is a cheat code for YouTube. One sec. Hey, cheat code for YouTube. Look, dog. This is my dog. My name's Pepper. All right. Peace.